So if we go back to the prototype or to the definition, remember this is what we started with. So that's going to be um, the start of our implementation. So we're talking about the list of ints class. We are going to overload operator equal. We're passing in as a parameter. We want to make a copy of some list. So we want to pass in a list of ints. And I'm just going to call it um, L. Okay. I do not want to pass this by value. I do not want to make a copy of it. So I'm going to pass in a reference. I don't want this to change, so I'm going to make it constant. Then I'm going to return this so I can do cascaded assignments. So my return type is const list of int and a reference to that. So here is my implementation. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for self-assignment. So the address of this object is stored in the pointer this. Right? That's just an address. And I can use the address operator on L. And if these two things are not equal, then that means they are two different objects and I want to do the copy. And you'll see that if this is false that I really don't do much of anything at all until I return a reference to the list of integers. So once I've cleared this hurdle, I need to check, well, is this, is this object empty? Right? Does this object have a linked list? Because if it has a linked list, I need to clear it before I start my copy. So if head pointer of this object is not equal to null, then I want to call clear. Okay. Now one thing we can do is we can implement an empty method and, and check that here, and empty would just check to see if head pointer equals to null, but we haven't implemented that yet. So I'm just checking the head pointer of this object, and if it's, null, if it's not null, then I call clear. So now I'm ready to do the copy, right? And I know that my parameter L, head pointer, has a linked list. Let's say 5, 10, and 15. I know you're sick of 5, 10, and 15, but it's easy to write three integers. And here's this object. And I know that head pointer points to null. Right? I know that these are not the same object because I've done the self-assignment check. And I know that this object does not have any nodes in it because if it did, I've cleared them. So when I get to this point in execution, I know that I have this situation. First thing I'm going to do is declare a few pointers that will help me do the copy. So as I said before, I'm going to have copy pointer, and I'm going to use that on this object. So here's copy pointer, and I'm going to assign that to null. And then I'm going to use original pointer to do the traversal of this list. And I need to make that pointer point to the first element of the list. And to do that, remember that if I refer to head pointer, it's this head pointer. So in order to refer to the head pointer of the list I'm copying, I have to use L dot head pointer. And now that's going to make original pointer point to that same thing. 
just like that. I'm going to do a traversal. So as long as, and I'm going to keep making a copy as long as original pointer is not equal to null. Whoops, just like that. And as I said, I, so, so now we're, you're going to see when I write this code out that it's going to look almost identically to the read method, okay, at this point. Now I've got, I'm processing a string of integers coming from this traversal. It doesn't really matter at this point that they're not coming from a file. And I've got two situations. I've got an empty list or I've got uh, this pointer that points to the end of the list. How do I know if this is empty? Well, I can check to see if head pointer is equal to null. Well, if it is, then this node, this new node that I'm getting ready to create needs to be right here. Right? And I need to make head pointer and copy pointer point to it. So head pointer is equal to copy pointer. And what is this new node? And, and this is where things get a little confusing. One thing I could do, uh, so let's see, how do I want to write this? So here's idea one, okay? I've got to get five out of here and pass it to the constructor of the node class. So here's one idea. Um, I could, in fact, let's just do that. I think that will be the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to say new node. And the value that I want to pass into the constructor is 5. How do I get 5? Well, I have to call get object on this node, which original pointer points to. So I say original pointer get object. I'm going to run out of space. Okay. So what this is, this says new node original pointer get object. Okay. Just like that. So here's what's going to happen. Really complicated, right? So I'm going to call get object on the object that original pointer points to. Original pointer points to this object, so this evaluates to 5, and that gets passed into the constructor, right? So somewhere out in memory, I get a new node object. 5 gets passed into the constructor. That gets assigned to null, and then new that address is assigned to copy pointer and head pointer. So now I get a linked list that looks like this. Okay? Crazy, crazy syntax, but that, that works. Now otherwise, and that's all one statement, I just rewrote this little portion here and it, it slightly expanded. Now, otherwise, I know that copy pointer is going to be pointing. So I know head pointer points to the first element, and now copy pointer is always going to be pointing at the end. So I can say copy pointer set next pointer, right? And, and in this situation, I'm going to be copying something other than 5. I'm going to be copying, say, for example, 10. And I can do exactly the same thing here. So set next pointer. I want to create a new node. And it's got to be, I'm passing this value 10 into its constructor. So I call original pointer get object. Boom and boom. Okay? Just like that. Crazy syntax. Crazy syntax. Now what's going to happen here 
is I go out and create a new node somewhere out in memory and I pass, I call get object on the object that original pointer points to. It points to this object. This returns 10. That's passed into the constructor of the node class and then new passes the address of that node into the set next pointer method of the object that copy pointer points to. Copy pointer points to the object containing 5 and so now the node containing 5 is going to point to 10. And now we can say copy pointer is equal to copy pointer get next pointer. And that is going to move copy pointer to here and now we're just always pointing at the last element of the list. Now once I do that, I need to advance original pointer to the next node. And that's just original pointers equal to original pointer get next pointer. Right? So if original pointer is here, for example, that's going to advance it to 15. Now we go back up here. This is actually the end of the while loop. And this is the end of the else. Right? We go back up. Original pointer points to something. Head pointer points to something. So we do the else. And what we do is we create a new node out here. We extract 15 using original pointer get object. That's passed into the constructor of the node class. And then new returns the address and passes it to the set next pointer method of this object, the one that copy pointer points to. So now this is going to point to there. We advance copy pointer by making it point to the next element. Okay. Now we advance original pointer by calling get next pointer and this time original pointer is going to point to null. And that actually satisfies our termination condition. And the only thing that we have to deal with at this point is our return value. And this is going to be outside the if of this uh, self copy, the self assignment thing. And what I want to do is I want to return the list of integers. I want to return, effectively, I want to return me. I want to return this, right? I mean, I could return L since all of these are copies, but what I really want to do is I want to return the copy that I just made. Well, I can't just say return this because this is the address of this object. How do I actually return the list itself at this address? Well, I can dereference the pointer and this actually evaluates to a list. A list of ints. Okay. So again, this is two uses of the this pointer here that's really important. So first of all, we can, we can use this to tell if we're making a self-assignment. And then when I want to return a list of integers, I can dereference the pointer to myself and it effectively returns me. Okay, it returns me. It returns this list. If I have the assignment L2 is equal to L1, Effectively, this is going to evaluate to L2, all right, the object L2. That's how you overload the memberwise copy operator for a linked list. This works for all linked lists, and it gives you a deep copy instead of a shallow copy. And now we're going to look to see how to put this to use with the copy constructor.